Hello, this is uh, Justin G8YTZ, and uh, this evening I'm just going to uh, go through a setup procedure of the uh, GT Media V8 SAT Finder, and indeed how to uh, use this to receive transmissions on 70 centimeters. Now, this little box is available on um, uh, from sources like uh, Amazon, which is where I got mine, and eBay, around about uh, for around about 60 pounds uh, in in the UK. And uh, it's, it's a great little box. Basically, it's a satellite receiver in one. Um, a little portable, you know, there's a, a DVI output there. There's a composite input and output. You can use this as a video monitor as well. I must admit, I haven't worked out quite how yet, but anyway, you can. And um, it covers, I've found, um, well, certainly covers down to 70 centimeters and the whole of the IF uh, tuning band for uh, satellites. It's... Um, uh, designed to um, be used for you know uh, uh, s satellite technicians installing satellite dishes to um, get the signal right, um, and uh, it, it's a nice little box. It uh, comes in this handy package and a you know a, a, a shoulder strap. There's the charger in there. It's got a USB port on the front, which is designed to um, for you to back up the configuration, but also to um, load new firmware as it becomes available on, on the, um, the forum or the website. Um, what I've got here is um, just a plain old rod aerial. I've made sure it's one that doesn't short the in and the outer together because obviously if you've got the LMB voltage switch on, switched on you don't want to short that out and potentially damage the um, feed for the uh, sat receiver. Um, this info button, if I press that I'll get an info display on the screen. Nothing been transmitted at the minute. Let me take you around the rest of the kit. Firstly, this is the ports down, uh, the VATC ports down. Uh, um, it's basically a Raspberry Pi, the seven inch official Raspberry Pi screen. I've left the plastic on it because I'm uh, transporting it a lot at the minute. Um, it, it's running off um, just a regular anchor uh, type uh, 20 amp per hour uh, USB um, power bank battery. Um, over here, I've got a USB hub. The USB hub is uh, obviously uh, into one of the uh, uh, USB ports on the Raspberry Pi, the power of course in the top there. And uh, this is a, a Lime Mini, there's a little fan in there. And that Lime Mini is a full duplex uh, receiver transmitter. Uh, and uh, obviously the uh, um, ports down software can drive that. So let's just see what happens first. And this, this uh, sat find is already set up. Um, I've, I've got the, um, if you can see there, yeah, I've got the uh, a transmitter set up for 437 megahertz, symbol rate of 2000 uh, kilosymbols per second, forward error correction of uh, 3 over 4, and uh, I've got an internally generated test card on the uh, uh, ports down. Obviously, got my call sign set up there. As I'm in Ireland right now, I'm using my Irish call sign and um, uh, format uh, uh, that's just the uh, I'm using 4x3 as opposed to 16.9. Uh, output to Lime Mini, which is the device we're using, H264, and um, DVB-S2 at QPSK. I can change any of that. But anyway, let's hit the transmit button. And in a second, that will transmit. There we go. That's what's transmitting. And in a second, we should see the uh, picture appear on the SAT. We've got a lock. Yeah, there it is. And uh, if we press the info button, we can see up there that we're on 10.437 megahertz and dbs2 etc etc now why 10437 that's because obviously this is a satellite receiver and it's expecting an lnb so i i've chosen a round 10 gigahertz uh, uh, local oscillator frequency because then all i have to do is add 437 to that so all my frequencies are the actual received frequency of this device um plus 10,000, so it's easy to calculate so that that's what i've done there and you can see the signal and quality. And this, this line mini is only producing a milliwatt or so, and it's going to a little um, uh, uh, 5 eighths over a quarter wave mobile mag mount, uh, one of those little miniature ones, and it's um, just sitting there uh, on the side using a, another satellite receiver as a ground plane. But anyway, there you go, that, that's it. Now, what I'll do in the next uh, little section is show you actually how to set up the um, set receiver to receive. Uh, 437 megahertz, how to add a transponder and everything. Okay, um, 
next stage is to actually set up the sat finder to uh, receive a new frequency. Um, again, once again, we're using the telescopic rod antenna. We haven't got an LNB. We're just using this as a tunable receiver. And these uh, receivers tune from about 400 megahertz up to about uh, 2.4 or 2.5 gigahertz or thereabouts. Um, I think the spec only says from 950, um, but in practice they, they go much further than that, right down to uh, uh, 70 centimetres. The lowest I've used it is 435, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it will go lower than that. Um, I suspect because the tuners are also designed to receive a terrestrial broadcast as well. And might even go down to um, band 3 uh, for that reason. Anyway, I'll just show you one little change I've made on the um, transmitter. And that's I've set the symbol rate for um, uh, 3,000 um, uh, killer symbols per second. The reason I've done that is just to differentiate from the other um, bits of programming I've put into this box. Anyway, when you switch it on, you'll you'll get an initial screen. Um, in fact, let's just uh, let's just do that now. It um, boots up, and you'll get this initial screen um, on the on the sat find. It just boots up because it's it's uh, GT Media piece. This one is a, a V8 Gold, by the way. Gold is important because it has the USB. Now you'll, you'll find you'll get this, this up. So if you just hit the um, info button at the bottom, you'll get rid of uh, just three times and you'll get rid of that display. So what we want to do is press the menu button now, go into the menu and you get antenna connection and satellite list. When you're first setting this up, go into antenna setting and just set for fixed antenna. You, you don't want motor antenna, you just want fixed antenna and uh, that, that will do well. Exit out of that, down to satellite list, and what we're gonna do is add a new satellite. Now, you'll, you'll see there's lots of satellites here already in this box, there's about 50 odd, okay. What you wanna do is make sure they're all unticked. Okay, it's really important. This last few here up to, you know, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, Actually, I think 55 is mine as well. Um, these are all um, unticked as well. And that, that's quite important because you'll get confused when setting it up uh, in the first instance. So um, when, when you tick them, you'll get options from those as well. So you, you, say you don't want to do that right now. So the first thing we want to do is, is you, you'll notice the four you know, red, yellow, blue, and green. These refer to these buttons here. Uh, they're not too logical. They're in kind of a different order. I don't know why. Well, red, yellow... Uh, Blue green goes goes around uh, that way, so it's a bit bit funny, but never mind. It's not a, a main thing. Um, anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a um, a satellite or or imaginary satellite here, and we're going to add that by hitting the add button, and we're going to call it something. I'm I'm just for quickness here. I'm just going to call it A B C, A B C. Okay, we'll just call it that for now. And I'm happy with that. So OK, yellow there. Hit that button, and then we've got our satellite. Now we've got um, delete, add, edit, more, and uh, you see there's a few more things: guide, spectrum, TP. Okay. And what we're going to do is um, in 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 this um, uh, men menu, we're going to go into add. Okay. So hit the add button. I do beg your pardon, it's not the add button. Oh, I'm getting myself confused. Right, uh, more. We're going to hit the um, more button, the setup button. That's the one, not the add button, the setup button. Right, we're going to hit the setup button and it says please select satellite first. And what that means is it wants a tick next to it, the one we're going to set up. So if we just press the OK while it's highlighted, um, we get the tick. Now we can press the setup button and there we are. So Satellite one is ABC, and here we set the LNB frequency. That's the frequency of a local oscillator, your LNB, if you're using an LNB. What I suggest we do is um, set that for 10,000. So keep going up till we get to 10,000. That's really easy, because any frequency we want to receive, the actual frequency without an LNB, we just add 10,000 it. So it's 10... Um, uh, 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 437. We're going to move for 437 megahertz, for example, in our case. Um, right, no TP, disable, disable, off, polarity. I suggest not setting the auto, but just set it to something like horizontal. That'll put um, 12 volts up the system in theory, but l leave it there because you, you don't want it to, when, if you scan, you don't want it to pick up two uh, things. Uh, you only want it to pick up one. So. 
is it will find the same thing again on horizontal and vertical because there's no LNB, of course. So if you're happy with that, we can exit out of that. And that's that basic setup for that satellite. Um, now we have to go in and add a program. So we're going to hit the TP button. And um, this is uh, where we're going to um, uh, get, get, go and uh, get uh, our um, um, program in. So it's hit an add. And uh, right, what have we got here? The frequency. So um, remember what I was saying? 10437, that's what we add in. So 10,437. So basically, it's the frequency we want to receive plus 10,000. So 10,437 in our case. If it was, if it was 23 sevens, for example, it would be, um, say, 1249. It would be um, 1, 1, uh, um, 249, 1249. So forget about that initial 1, 1, megahertz. And next stage we need is the symbol rate. In our, our case, it's 3,000. It's actually a quick way of doing this. You can just press 3, 0, 0, 0. Happy with that. Horizontal polarity, which was the, uh, uh, what we had there. Um, just leave that as it is and hit the Save button. Bang, and there it is. So we should be now ready to go. If, if I... Um, you know, we haven't got any locks here, but if I now fire up the transmitter, and which, as you can see, is on 437 megahertz, the symbol rate of uh, 3000. Let's hit the transmit button. It'll take a few seconds for the transmission to start. There we go. Back to the satellite receiver. Oh, and we've just got a lock come up. So that's good. So really what we need to do now is get out of this uh, menu. So we hit the exit button. And do we want to save? Oh, yes, please. We'll do that. So come out, come out, come out. And uh, there we go. It should show the lock in a second. So I hope it does. It's going to lock. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, where are we? 10437, horizontal. Oh, 2000. I wonder what I did there. Let's uh, let's go back in and uh, see what's going on. It's, it's nothing like a bit of uh, live uh, fault finding on air. Back into the menu, um, into there. Okay, TP. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Let's hit the search button and search for a, tra a program. That's probably what I forgot to do. There we go. It's found something, it's locked it. Hopefully it will come up as uh, EI3IOB, it has. That's what I forgot to do, there we go, right. Even I'm not perfect. Right, let's come out of there. And uh, no, we've got a lock, and there's the program. Excellent, so uh, apart from my little aberration there of uh, forgetting to uh, scan for the, uh, the program, um, there we have it. Um, we're receiving on uh, 437 megahertz. Um, so I hope that wasn't too disjointed and uh, everyone got that. I don't fancy re-recording it again because it's. Uh, I'll probably make another mistake next time. But there we go. There it is. There's the uh, transmitter transmitting. In fact, I'll just, just to prove it because uh, there we go. Yeah, you can see that working. Let's switch off the transmitter. And... Um, there you are, transmitter's off now, and uh, the signal uh, locks obviously disappeared as well. They do hold the last picture, these things, so uh, bear in mind, you might have a nice picture there, but not actually being received. If I switch the transmitter on again, there we go, up it comes. You should see the lock signal when it's got there, that, that um, bar will come up uh, yellow. That's at the uh, quality uh, indicator, which never seems to get above 85% on, on these... Um, line minis, but um, <laughs> there, there, there we go. Um, and uh, signal strength, it's not not very strong. And remember, this box is running outside its uh, limits. Um, I, I think it's running outside its design limits. Um, but um, if you do want a more sensitive receiver for this, then uh, you can always buy one of those little uh, TV uh, amplifiers or use some kind of pre-amplifier on it, and uh, that would probably work really well. Anyway, that's that's the setup. Um, there, there's the uh, line, 
uh, Mini, which is a great little product. I've got, I've got to say, very pleased. That's just a powered USB hub. And a uh, quick demonstration of how to set up the um, GT Media V8 Gold uh, SAT receiver. As I said, this one came off uh, Amazon about it might be 50 pounds, 50, 60 pounds. That's the sort of price you pay for these. And I've got to say, it's a fantastic little box. I'm uh, extremely impressed with it. It's a bit funny how to get to use it, but once you understand it, it's pretty easy to use. All the best. Uh, bye for now.